today's video sponsor is GVG More. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Gameplays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Thank you, kind sir. Today we're here for a really short video and when I say short I say like 5, five to six, 6 minutes, minutes maybe. maybe. And yeah, this is a video just to tell you guys to do not forget to update your chipset drivers and your BIOS. In the previous video of the drivers that I made, the 24.7.1 drivers video, I told you guys that the stuttering was gone. It just went away. The 24.6.1 added the stuttering and the 24.7.1 drivers well, took it away again. But what happens is that some people in the comment section have been telling me that, well, uh, I still have my stutterings, it is even worse than the 20, than the 24.6.1, blah, 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 blah. But then those same people after some days came back to me telling me that, well, I updated chipset drivers and now everything's fine. Sadly, uh, it seems that it is not for everyone. Of course, chipset drivers won't fix the issues for most people that have real issues, but some others just don't have the chipset drivers or the BIOS updated or some sometimes once again they have uh, unstable overclock and uh, overclock profiles and so on. They think it's stable, but it actually isn't. And I, I saw that and I experienced that myself several times. What I'm saying is that um, I'm not saying that the drivers are perfect, of course they aren't and they still have some issues even compared to the 24.5.1, although they fix more then they broke or they break, but still, <laughs> believe me, most most issues are user related. The users just don't know that they are user related. So if you're updating the drivers, try to keep your chipset drivers updated and your motherboard BIOS updated as well. So if you don't know what are chipset drivers and if you are running an AMD CPU, you need to go to AMD website, select your chipset, your socket, basically. Uh, for example, if you have an AM4 motherboard, it will be either the A320, I believe, the, um, the, B4, the B350 or B450, the X570 or the 570E. And if you have an AM5 motherboard for the Ryzen 7000 series or the 8000 series, now the APUs, you have the B650, B650E, and by the way, I forgot about the, the, B, the B550, yes, for the M4 platform, and you have also the X670 and the X670E. E means like extended or something like that, I don't, or extra, I don't really know. So all you have to do once again is update chipset drivers, update your motherboard BIOS, and you'll most likely stop having stutters. And believe me, lots of people that are having stutters, lots of them will actually stop having those as soon as they update chipset drivers. Chipset drivers are a must for the MD system, especially for people that, uh, that are having issues like stuttering, uh, smart access memory not uh, enabling and so on. People having those issues need to install chipset drivers and from the AMD website, not from the vendor website because on the vendor website usually, and I say usually because not always, but usually the vendor website has an, um, an older version of the chipset driver. So you go to the AMD one to have the most current one for your system. So you just download the file, install the, the file, reboot your computer and you're good to go. And you might say, well, but did you do a video just for that? Hell yeah. And I made a video just for that because you guys keep forgetting as well. You guys just keep forgetting. Although you don't forget about complaining because you complain a lot. Some of you guys complain a lot. I've been in that boat and I can tell you that most issues, mo most issues are user related. For example, years ago, uh, in the beginning of the channel, I actually thought I had issues with, um, with the MD GPU. Just in the, in the really, really early beginning, like... 2017, 2018, something like that. I thought that I was having issues with GPU drivers and it was actually an unstable CPU and RAM overclock. As soon as I put everything everything to stock, Portuguese was taken over, yes, yes. 
everything went fine, no more GPU driver issues. And that's why, why I'm making these videos and that's why I keep making these videos. I have no pleasure in making these videos, but I do need to make them because once again, you guys keep forgetting the basics. You don't forget about complaining, you don't forget about getting, getting frustrated. Of course, once again, I've been there, but you guys need to forget about that and stop focusing on the basics. As soon as you do the basics, um, yeah, everything should be working properly unless you have a defective part. Or of course, unless you, we do have some real issues on the drivers like we, we had with the 24.6.1. But besides that, most issues are user related. And well guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Once again, thank you very much for watching and leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if you're if you're using the 24.7.1 drivers and in case you updated the chipset drivers, tell me if it fixed the issues that you're having or not in terms of stuttering. Just let me and let us know the community in the comment section. Cheers. By the way, tomorrow we're gonna have a very, very interesting video. So stay tuned.